Hey guys, this is Rusty Warden with Rocker Down Studios, and one of the tools that we use quite often is, in fact, Articulate Storyline. Why? Because it is awesome. It is very quick to design and develop content within it. But the first time I took a look at Storyline, I really hated the built-in navigation that comes with it. Uh, so I knew right away that we would never, ever publish anything with just the simple navigation that Storyline is shipped with. Um, Storyline's default stage size takes into account that you are likely going to be using their navigation so if you're you're using their if you're using your own navigation you're actually losing some screen real estate so when I first came in and I was like okay well I just need to change the stage size since I don't need to have that saved spot I came in here and I'm looking around and I look in storyline options and I cannot find for the life of me how to figure out how to change the stage size and that's what this video is about what you do is you come over here to this design tab click on that and you see this tiny little guy over here it's almost hidden over here next to all these other little design elements uh, or themes so you'll click on the story size and you'll note that it is defaulted at a 4.3 format well I don't know about you but it's been a long time since I've seen a monitor that has a 4.3 uh, ratio so you can come over here and automatically change it over to 16.9 which is really super helpful but the problem is it's still minimizing your screen size because it's expecting you to use their navigation come on over here make sure your lock aspect ratio is on change this over to 800 put a tab out of that and you can see that the height automatically adjusts to match the same ratio that it had previously now, the best time to do a stage size or a story size change is at the very beginning of a project. But if you're trying to figure this out now and you're two thirds of the way into your project, at least uh, Articulate has offered to allow you to do something with the content that's already there. And what that the option here is, is scale to fit. So if you've got content on your stage uh, already and you, you find you need to come in and change the story size, it will sort of scale things to kind of, you know, to fill up some of that space. Uh, I've done this. Uh, it doesn't work great. I found that I had to go back to each and every single slide and sort of readjust things again. But at least it does something with it. And for, you know, for your project, it may work. For mine, it didn't. But in any case, it's there. Now that you've got your stage size selected at 800 by 450, which is a fantastic ratio for almost any mobile device, all you do is click OK. And as you can see here, you've changed your story size layout to this beautiful widescreen, and now you may begin to build your own custom navigation elements. This is Rusty Warden with Rockerdown Studios. I hope that was very helpful.